of which will be bringing back if we are elected into office as president and vice president. Secondly, we believe that um, on ACU campus we have Wi-Fi connections around. But of course, the Wi-Fi connection we have around as an engineering student, her my analysis has a bandwidth of 2.4 gigahertz, which makes it impossible for students to have very fast internet connection. So due to that, we are going to expand it and then make sure that the bandwidth is being increased from 2.4 gigahertz to 5.0 gigahertz. Secondly, we are also going to advocate through management, which of course can be possible, to bring on board the PA systems for the various large lecture halls we have around, like down to large, the T2, T1, the Great Hall, and also the electrical ground floor, as well as the NG Block 2. We too are going to bring on board or advocate for additional smart boards in some of the various lecture halls and fix permanent projectors in some of the lecture halls so that students can have easy access when they are having class. As well as when we are elected into power, we are going to unback and then make our voice be heard up there for management to commission the furniture we have at the end block for students to use in their various lecture hall. I will tackle the welfare aspect as well, which comprises of the health and welfare of the students of Accra Technical University. Currently, we have a new clinic which has been put up, and if the mantle is being given to us to lead as president and vice, we are going to make sure that management will employ workers who are running shift 24-7 on ATU campus in order not to have incidences where students will be admitted in the night in case of any incidents like um, accident or falling sick at night. We are also going to improve campus security and empower the student cadets to also help the security in terms of day and staying peace among students on campus and also push for management to employ new security skills personnel on campus. We are going to expand the student scholarship scheme and this year we are targeting giving scholarship to 50 students in each and every department on ATU campus. Of which the statistics will give us a clear number of ATU students on a technical university campus. We are also going to live with private students around because the moment freshers are being enrolled, we realize that parents always come to campus at group with their students getting residence around to stay. So we are going to partner with hostels around and ensure that they create space available for our students as soon as they are enrolled. In the terms of infrastructure, we are going to one innovate to management the old hostel every semester. We are going to help provide beds in the hostels, as well as the working ones. Then secondly, we are going to build up a new learning center just between the school clinic and the electrical block, which of course management has given permission already, but when we are lectured into office, we will come on board to put up a total learning center between that space there, so at least when students want to go out and learn, they can get a place where they could learn. As well as, we are going to improve the Facebook and put up a summer heart project there, where students can go there and have their convenience. We are also going to advocate to management to innovate the old learning center we have to equip the place with sockets as well as put up funds there so that students can have the convenience whenever they are using the place. And in terms of capacity building, we are going to liaise with industries around to help our students in terms of securing jobs right after they are done with the tertiary cycle of education and also train them on campus. I call this bridging the gap between industry and academia. And there's a special touch, which of course will be the office of the vice president, that is the free food policy, which we are going to introduce the Obatampa Food Bank project, which will take care of students who find it difficult to make or get entries as well as get to square meal a day. So if you vote for us into office, we are voting to save a life by students on campus who cannot afford to spend more a day. Thank you very much, Margarita. Alright, thank you, Mr. Andrew. So
Okay. So the next candidate, Mr. Abdullah Razak.